Hey guys, what's up? So today I am bringing you my top 15 favorite Nine Inch Nail songs of 2023. So I got heavily into Nine Inch Nails um, towards the end of 2022, around early September, late August. And ever since then, uh, I've been listening to them a lot lately. Um, they've become one of my favorite bands in industrial rock and metal um, and just in rock music in general. And my first Nine Inch Nails song, of course, this is everyone's first uh, Nine Inch Nails song, uh, Closer. Um, or maybe it's not everyone's first, but my first was the song Closer. Of course, that's their most iconic song and the song that they are most known for. Um, then there's their song Hurt. I would argue that that song is just as famous as the song Closer. Um, but those were the two songs that got me hooked on Nine Inch Nails. And about, uh, two years ago, roughly, um, or maybe it's three years at this point, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look and see when I uploaded this video. But if you guys remember my Soundgarden uh, video about them getting snubbed out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, um, my buddy Dane mentioned the band Nine Inch Nails and how they got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And personally, I think they deserve it. I think Nine Inch Nails is a, um, is a great band. And hopefully... Um, Soundgarden gets into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame one day. Um, but as for right now, uh, we're going to talk about Nine Inch Nails in this video. And if you're a fan of Nine Inch Nails, feel free to leave your top 15 down in the comments below. Let me know what's your favorite album by these guys. And all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one is the song Wish from the Broken EP. Number two is Heresy from the Downward Spiral. Number three is Closer from the Downward Spiral. Number four is Ruiner from the Downward Spiral. Number five is Hurt from the Downward Spiral. Number six is Burn from the Downward Spiral. Number seven is We're In This Together from The Fragile. Number eight is Star Fuckers from The Fragile. And uh, I heard somewhere that the song Starfuckers is directed at Courtney Love. Um, if anyone wants to confirm that in the comments, um, go right ahead. <clears throat> but that's what I've heard about this song. Um, regardless if it is or if it isn't, um, it's still a great song regardless. <laughs> Number nine, Copy of a from Hesitation Marks. Uh, number 10 is Find My Way from Hesitation Marks. And number 11 is All Time Low from Hesitation Marks. And when it comes to this album as a whole, um, I see this album get ranked pretty low uh, when people rank... Um, Nine Inch Nails discography, 
and I don't really agree with a lot of people's rankings when it comes to Hesitation Marks. I think it's a very underrated album uh, from the group and doesn't deserve all the hate that it gets. Um, if in fact, if it gets any hate at all, but again, just from what I've seen with rankings, uh, it's a very underappreciated album to say the least. Number 12, The Perfect Drug from Lost Highway. Uh, this is a film that uh, Trent Reznor, uh, he film scored uh, for and did like the music for as well. So um, he did the song, The Perfect Drug for the mo movie soundtrack, Lost Highway. Now I've never seen the movie. Um, but I really like this song from Nine Inch Nails. Number 13 is Head Like a Hole from Pretty Hate Machine. Now, a lot of Nine Inch Nails fans are probably going to crucify me in the comments for putting Head Like a Hole this low on the list. Um, it doesn't mean I dislike the song or... Um, hate the song by any means believe it or not head like a hole was one of my first nine inch nail songs um next to closer and hurt and regardless of where this song is ranked on my list um it's still one of my favorite nine inch nail songs now is it an overrated song from nine inch nails I would have to say yes. At this point, yes it is, but regardless, it's still a great song. Uh, number 14 is Terrible Lie from Pretty Hate Machine. This is the song that follows after Head Like a Hole on the album Pretty Hate Machine, and I think this is a really great song. Um, it's one that I return to quite a bit whenever I do listen to Pretty Hate Machine. And I think I would go as far to say that Pretty Hate Machine is one of my favorite albums of 1989. So, there you go. And last but not least, at number 15, we have the song Down In It from Pretty Hate Machine. Um, I pretty much love everything about this song. Really good stuff from Nine Inch Nails, especially off their first album. So yeah, that's my list, and I'll see you guys next time. Rock on.